Welcome to Go Fly and Land today. I'm Nathan Sleep, the Go Fly Aviation uh, Chief Flying Instructor. So we're going to have a look at say, uh, the correct transponder codes that you should be setting on your transponder for uh, one, emergency procedures, and the other one, just general flying. So we currently have 1200 zero zero set on our transponder, and that's just as a uh, general aviation aircraft. So if you had to have a look at a radar, you'd see a whole bunch of 1200s zero zero everywhere, probably private aircraft, or training just like we're doing today. Yep. Now, if we were to uh, transit through control airspace, uh, class D, we'd have 3,000 set on our transponder. Yep. Now that you can only do if you have a uh, controlled airspace endorsement. If you had to see a 6,000, that would be military aircraft, yep. so that's their transponder code. Uh, and then from there, we've got our emergency transponder codes. Yep. So as we all know, 7700, if we're going to do a mayday call, that uh, transponder code is always associated with our mayday call. Yep. So you're in a life threatening sort of situation. You have 7600. So if we had to lose our radios, we have no radios whatsoever. We're going to set 7600 on our transponder. Brisbane Centre will know those guys have radio issues. So for example, if we're in controlled airspace, if we set that, they would know they're not going to get hold of us. The 7500 is unauthorized sort of access for the aircraft. So let's say you had a passenger and for whatever reason they decided that they were going to take control of the aircraft. They're not legally allowed to. Yep. They probably wouldn't know what the heck the transponder is. You could set 7500 and then Brisbane Centre would actually know that is, that is unauthorized. Uh, control or you know a hijack situation or some sort of that. Yep. Uh, an easy way to remember it, and this is when I was training. A nice sort of uh, mnemonic to remember or a rhyme to remember. Uh, seven five, stay alive. Okay. Seven six, need a fix. Yep. Seven five, stay alive. Seven six, need a fix. And seven seven, go to heaven, because you you're in trouble. Okay. You're in distress. Seven six, need a fix. Your radio's not working. Nice easy to remember that. 7 fast day alive. Someone's trying to hijack the plane or unlawful interference of your aircraft. Uh, and you're going to probably want some assistance when landing, wherever you're landing, or. And it might be the assistance of the law. So, police or something like that. Yep. Once you have those transponder codes memorized, you, know, you, can, you can operate your transponder quite accurately and accordingly for any situation. I've never actually had to change my transponder code to an emergency code. I don't ever want to. But if time arises, I will be using those, and I'll know them. Yep. Uh, most people also get confused on how to change your transponder code. Yep. Standard procedure. Open up your transponder. So if it's a digital one like we have here, tap that. Now, I'm not going to do anything because it's currently active, showing our position sure. and our altitude. But you would set it to standby first, change the code, push enter, set it back to alt. Yep. Uh, likewise, if President Senate had to say to us, change a, a code, if they gave us a transponder code, Yep. Stand by first, change it to the code they've given us, back to alt. Yep. Alright. So, thanks very much for joining us. If anybody wants to uh, like our YouTube channel or check out GoFly online, that would be great. Thank you very much.